Hello everyone, I'm Shannon Slatten. A crystal company did not let the pandemic stand in the way of organizing a large coat donation drive. On Friday, nine different police departments drove the coats here to Dayton. They're destined for the Salvation Army. We've done about 10,000 coats probably over the last four years now. And it's, it's just been, I guess, neat and being able to help people. Standard Water Control Systems out of Crystal has coordinated this effort for four years. They coordinate the coat donations out of nine different police departments and then donate those to the Salvation Army. This year, they expected to collect a smaller amount of donations than normal, but so far, that doesn't look like it's the case. This year has been different in that we couldn't do a lot of our collections like through the restaurants and country clubs and bars, places like that that we usually will have a box. So we relied more on our police departments that help us out and they've done an extraordinary job this year on um, collecting. They've even turned the coat donation into a bit of a contest, awarding a Justin Morneau signed bat to the department who collects the most coats. Last year's winner, Dayton, handed it off to this year's winner, Moundsview. Now, if you have a coat to donate and it didn't quite make it here, that's okay. There are still opportunities to give back before the weather gets too cold. We've posted a few of those on our website for you. Check it out at ccxmedia.org. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.